Good evening and welcome to <laughs> another episode of the Coach Derek Barrow Show. I am your host, Justin Robinson, and like always, I have the man himself, Coach Derek Barrow. How you doing, Coach? Thank you very much, and glad to be here again. Uh, after a loss, I'm still glad to be here. That's great. Yeah. It's great to have you here. Yeah. Um, so you guys play Kentucky State this weekend. Okay. Uh, lost uh, 32 to five um, at home. Um, you guys, uh, you guys played a good first half. First half. Uh, you guys held the lead five to three going into halftime. Um, what changed in that second half for for you guys? Um, well, actually, nothing changed, and that was the problem. Uh, we couldn't score. Didn't score any points, and uh, if you don't score, the chances of you winning is going to be kind of slim. Right. So if, you, if you're hoping that five points is going to win a football game, it just didn't happen very often. Did they do anything different, like their no, defensive the, schemes or anything? Uh, they didn't do anything that we didn't expect. They didn't do anything that we didn't see. Uh, uh, just right now, we're just uh, we're struggling uh, on both sides of the ball. Okay. Your um, your defense had a solid first half. Mm -hmm. um, forced a fumble, uh, had a safety. Um, so, what did you uh, like about your defense in the first half? Well, um, I, I love the defense the first half. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you, you can't um, you can't keep the defense on the field the whole game. And, right. And at at a certain point, um, um, it just seemed to kind of got away from us. Uh, we threw a we threw a, a interception for a touchdown, and uh, it just seemed like that just kind of changed the dynamics of the game. Um, at, and in that first half, after the safety, after the safety, uh, did, did did you guys get any momentum? Like, did you feel like any momentum change coming uh, to well, the other I, side? I thought we were playing good defense the whole first half, uh, but uh, when we came out the second half. Um, we couldn't we couldn't muster up any points. We couldn't keep uh, the little momentum we had from that safety uh, going. And uh, we're not, you know, we're, we're not that kind of defense where we could um, stay on the field for any length uh, of time. Um, <clears throat> although it was a small lead, um, <clears throat> did you feel confident going into the second half? I did. I really did. I, I really thought that, uh, you know, we kind of get everything together. And uh, I really thought that we would win the game. Um, even going into the fourth, when we were still down, I thought that we would win the game. But, you know, when that uh, when it, when the interception occurred, I just kind of saw everybody. Um, I just kind of, you know, saw the energy that we had. Die down? Die down, yeah. So, so you the, Okay, speaking of the um, of the interception, um, your quarterback Ruben got injured on the same play. Mm -hmm. um, is there any updates on his injury? Well, we don't we don't know where it stands yet. I doubt if he'll be able to play on Saturday mm -hmm. uh, for the last game, but uh, but we we don't. I don't have any specific updates yet. Okay, um, he had a good game. Uh, he went twelve for fifteen. Um, on 65 on 65 yards, um, but he threw the interception and got hurt and was out for the remainder of the game. Uh, but did the weather um, play any effect on you no. guys' play no. in the second half? No, we don't want to use the weather as an excuse <laughs> for, for losing. <laughs> right, I understand that, but uh, I mean, it did. It, the, the temperature it felt like it dropped because I was out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have I went from being in the hoodie to just being in the I went to from a hoodie to a jacket and a hoodie because it got pretty cold out there. Well, the temperature was the, the same temperature on their side of the ball and right. in, in their huddle and in their on their defense as the same as it was for us. So right, we don't, um, we don't want to use that as an excuse. Um, Bryce McKinney had a had a good game with eight tackles, one sack, and a, a fumble recovery. Um, is that credited with forcing the in, intentional grounding in the end zone that led to the safety? What was, um, what was the question? Uh, what do you think about the way he played? We played well. We played well for him. Uh, <laughs> um, he's he's one of the younger kids that uh, that uh, can kind of build a foundation for the future of Lane College football. I think he's just maybe a freshman or a mm -hmm. sophomore maybe. Uh, but he's definitely the future of, of, of what's to come. Right. Um, do you, 
Okay, Marcus Holiday rushed for 79 yards um, with uh, five, what, about five, five yards, 4.6 average per carry. Um, he seemed to be effective in the game. He had a great first half. Uh, did, did, did getting down in the second half have an effect on his production in the game? Well, of course, whenever you're behind, you don't run the ball. You have to throw the ball more. Uh, and when you throw the ball, there's so many things can go wrong when you have to throw the football. So, uh, um, you know, he runs better. Uh, I think when we're when we're you know in the game and we're running the football, but when you get behind, you have to throw the football a little bit more, which kind of eliminates him from the game. Right. Um, how do you move forward um, after this past weekend, going into this week, um, being being this is the last game mm -hmm. of the season? Well, we move forward in terms of trying to beat uh, Central State University. Um, they're kind of in the same situation we're in. They're one in eight. eight. We're one in eight, and we'll battle it out to see who finishes <laughs> last. I guess. <laughs> so, so uh, you know. We, we, we'll just we're gonna move forward in, in preparing to try to uh, beat Central State. All right, and we'll be right back with the Coach Derrick Barrow show with more on the Central State game coming up this week. The music got the Harry Fraud. Lights, camera, action. The Mass Communication Department needs help. All students are welcome to help out with the production of the Coach Burroughs show every Monday. Any help would be appreciated. <laughs> And welcome back to the Coach Derrick Barrow Show. Uh, last week we had a conversation, and you said uh, you guys didn't, you guys haven't had a game where um, your offense and defense basically was on the same page, um, like your offense moving the ball down the field and your defense getting stops. In that first half last week, do you feel that um, you was on pace to that um, to that to that game? Uh, no, uh, because again, um, I thought the defense uh, played well the first half. I don't think the offense played well the first half. So uh, we still hadn't got on the same page where the defense and the offense was playing well at the same time. Okay. Um, Central State comes to the week with the same record as you guys. Uh, neither team has won a conference game. Uh, how would a win this week, this weekend help the team moving into the offseason? Well, I think uh, right now um, in, in our situations, uh, us in Central State, we're both looking for something uh, to feed off of going into the spring uh, and uh, into the into the uh, off season and into next year. So um, you know, it's, it's got to be a bitter uh, pill to swallow for the both of us. Uh, and uh, after Saturday, it will, it will continue to be a, a bitter pill for one of us, and uh, the other one, would, other school would have uh, have something to build on. So. Uh, the, uh, you guys in Central State has uh, have struggled this year, um, but your losses have been in some tight games. Mm -hmm. um, does the, do, do, the, do the team's experience in the tight games kind of like help going into this week? Not really. Um, you know, I don't. I don't feel better when we lose a close game. Uh, any 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 more or less than we. If we get blown out, I mean, a loss is a loss to me. So I, I hurt either way. So uh, no, it, it doesn't feel any better when you lose close games. Um, would you would you would you say you guys are basically playing for pride for this week? Yeah, absolutely. I I, I, I like to think that we were playing for pride in every game we played. Uh, but but I do understand your question. And, yeah, and at this point in the yes, season. Yes. Yeah. Um, how 
How are you going to motivate the team moving to the final game of the season? I'm going to motivate my team. Uh, if it was the first game or the last game, I'm, I'm still the same. Coach Burroughs, I'm still going to be fiery when I hit the field. Uh, uh, no matter whether we're 1-8 and eight or 8-1, eight and one, uh, I'm still going to be a fiery coach. I'm still going to not allow our team to drop their heads, not mm -hmm. allow uh, any self-pity. We're going to continue to go work and uh, move forward into trying to beat Central State. Um, they lost last week against uh, Tuskegee 45-0. to zero. And uh, Lane played Tuskegee um, in, in a close game earlier this season. Um, does that give you guys an extra boost of confidence going into the doesn't, game? Doesn't mean absolutely zero. Um, you know, one, one team may match up uh, uh, better against another team's offense, and, uh, mm -hmm. and another team offense may not match up as well. So that really actually means absolutely nothing. Um, you know, how many points Tuskegee beat us by versus how many points they beat them by. Right. It, it won't mean anything. Right. Um, Central State is averaging um, about 148 yards rushing and 188 yards passing throughout the entire season. They have also spent most of the season playing from behind. Uh, Lane is average is is averaging uh, about 160 yards passing and rushing the game this season. Do you feel confident in you guys' ability to contain Lane's uh, Central State's defense? Well, contain Central State defensively, yeah. Well, I mean, we don't, we're going to go out and study Central State and put in all the work necessary to try to uh, make sure that they score at least one point less than what we score. Uh, that's always been a game plan. Right. Uh, but I'm quite sure the coaches have put together a game plan. And myself, we put together a game plan. Hopefully it'll, it'll uh, bounce on the, you know, on the, in the right direction <laughs> this week. <laughs> this week, you know. Um, so, um, Central State has had 19 turnovers this season. Uh, do you think that's something you guys can take advantage of? I sure hope so. I mean, I hope. I hope they end up with about 25. So I mean, we we can use all the help. We can use all the help we can get right now, and and uh, you know I'll, I'll take it from I'll take it from either any anyway a turnover, a, a interception, a fumble. Uh, so we're just looking for a lot of positive things. Um, they are they giving up about 200 yards passing and rushing uh, this year defensively. Is there anything in their game that you feel that you can take advantage of? Well, I just I hope we go out and execute the game plan, and I hope we go out and put points on the board. Um, uh, I hope we uh, get off to a good start, and I hope we finish uh, finish strong. Mm -hmm. So overall, I'm just uh, looking forward to us uh, just this last game at least uh, get get on the same page offensively and defensively. Um, they have, they have, Central State has only had five sacks all season. Uh, do you feel confident that your offensive line can take advantage of their uh, defensive line and be able to protect your quarterback? Uh, I hope so. Um, I, I haven't kept up much on, on how many sacks they've, they've had, but they're a running football team, so they wouldn't have a whole lot of sacks if you're a running football team. Yeah, uh, they're averaging only 20 points a game and giving up 36 points. Uh, you guys are averaging 18 points and um, 17. Both teams seems, seem evenly matched. Uh, do you feel uh, that this would be a very competitive game? Well, I hope so. Uh, and uh, I hope, again, I'm, I'm still hoping that we go follow the game plan and uh, we go out and execute. And, and this one game where we can have the offense and defense uh, play together uh, like, uh, like the plan was in the beginning, uh, unfortunately, we hadn't had an opportunity to do that. But, you know, we got one more game left. So we're going to go out and try to put, put the offense and the defense on the field at the same time and uh, see what happens. All right, uh, Coach, and we'll be right back with the Coach Derek Burrow show right after these messages. Why are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. 
This message is sponsored by Lane College, the power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. Come on a journey with us to a world connecting you to your college. With a world that is changing at a rapid pace and is technology driven, the Mass Communication Department provides valuable news and information to the public, providing commentary, entertaining through film, radio, television. You can count on the Mass Communications Dragons to keep you on your toes and in the know of the latest activities going on on campus on all social sites. WLCD, the voice of the Dragons. And welcome back to the Coach Derek Barrow Show. So, Coach, uh, this is the last game of the season. Um, what would a win this week uh, do for the players, you, got, you guys, the coaching staff, and for the fans of Lane College? Well, I think it'll uh, kind of uh, pick up the morale. You know, it's, it's, you know we, have, we haven't won a game since our first game, so it's been a long season. It's been a long, disappointing season. And uh, I'm quite sure it's, it has been disappointing to our players. Um, so, um, I think any 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 uh, positive thing right now would be good for the team. Right. So, just like every week, uh, we do audience questions. Um, if you have any questions you want to ask Coach for next week, you can contact us at broadcast at langcollege.edu and on our social media sites um, on Facebook at Lane College Athletics and on Instagram at Lane Athletics. Um, so we're about to jump into these audience questions. Uh, the first question is from uh, Angelina. She asks, uh, who is your favorite coach to face in, in college and in the pros? Favorite coach to face in college? Um, I think it was um, Bobby Bowden. Uh, he was the head coach at Florida State at the time. And I thought that he was very instrumental in, uh, in helping us. And when I say us, meaning the other corner that played on the other side of me. Uh, he was very instrumental in helping us get drafted so high because he said that he didn't think that uh, that Memphis State at that time, he didn't think that Memphis State corners could match up with their receivers. And uh, I think they wind up having one catch each. Mm. And uh, he said a lot of positive things about us after the game, which brought a lot of attention to you guys. Us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as a coach um, on the collegiate level, who is your favorite coach to go against? Who is my favorite coach to go against? Um, probably Tuskegee, you know, because I'm one of my best buddies coached for Tuskegee. All right. And, and uh, you know, I hadn't had a chance to get the best of him yet, but <laughs> but we... we uh, it's we, coming. We, we, yeah, I'm hoping it's still coming, <laughs> but we, we joke and laugh about it, you know. We try to make, a, make fun of it. Um, Joseph asks, in college, where did you enjoy playing besides at home? In college? Um, Ole Miss. Because I, I, I enjoyed going down to Ole Miss. I hated those rebel flags. <laughs> but I, I liked, I liked uh, and enjoyed going against Ole Miss. Um, Maverick asks, what team did you most enjoy facing in college? Team that I enjoy, Ole Miss. Wasn't that the same thing? Uh, it was, uh, yep, it was basically the yeah, same. Ole Miss. Yeah. Okay, so you enjoy playing at Ole Miss and facing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, what was your favorite? Aaron asked, "What was your favorite part about playing college football?" Um, just the camaraderie of the of the team, the players. I made a lot of great friends in college, and uh, thirty years later, thirty plus years later. Um, they're still my friends uh, and just as you, you're here at Lane College and, and the friends you make here mm -hmm. will, will be forever uh, so um, I made a lot of great friends in college and uh, lifetime relationships so that's a good thing yeah um, Alec asks had you not gone to Memphis what do you wish you had played what I wish I had played, uh, I was a big Alabama fan. And, uh, by you being from Alabama? By me being from Alabama, you grew up, you're an Alabama fan or you're an Auburn fan. And I grew up an Alabama fan, uh, but they didn't offer me a scholarship and I was a little pissed off. <laughs> uh, but actually, I, if I hadn't went to Memphis, I had actually planned to go to Alabama A&M. I had, I had actually signed uh, a letter of intent to go to Alabama A&M. 
Uh, and then Memphis came in uh, very late, and they offered me a scholarship, and I, I kind of switched and decided to go to Alabama, and I decided to go to Memphis. University. Memphis, well, Memphis State Memphis at the State time. Back then, yeah. yeah. Um, Tyler asks, as athletic director, when the season is over, how do things change for you from a jo job standpoint? Well, it 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 uh, it, uh, it, it, it it's uh, it's more administrative. Uh, once the season is over, mm -hmm. uh, it's more administrative stuff than you know. But it's still recruiting. I still recruit, and but it's it's a lot more administrative duties uh, than. Uh, than actually athletic duties like being on the field and uh, planning trips and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's when the athletic director side kind of kicks in. Um, Anna asks, what is, who is the most under, underrated player you have ever played with? Underrated? Play with? Play with or against? One underrated. Underrated. Um, at that time now, and we, we never knew he was going to be a Hall of Famer, but it was Andre Reed. Uh, he was a fourth round draft pick out of a small school, small division two school called Coonstown State. And uh, nobody knew who Andre was. And, and, uh, and to be honest, Andre didn't even, wasn't even sure he would make the team, you know. Um, but he came in and, uh, as, a, as, a, as a hell of a player, and he just jumped off the map so I would say Andre Reed only because he was a fourth round pick yeah you know you, you know you wouldn't have you wouldn't have guessed that he would he would be in Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame Hall of Fame you know so so, who so underrated the, at that time so underrated about that's what you playing with playing with you, okay what about against against um underrated that's a that's a that's a t that's a toughie because you know, you know the the one thing you do as a as a player you try to respect all your opponents and mm -hmm. you know, I, I you know, uh, that that's a tough one. Uh, can we get back to that on the next show? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me think about that when we get back to that next on the next show. All right, have, so on the next show we gonna show, find out who, who was who who was the underrated I'm, player I'm against on that one. playing yeah. against. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Samuel asks, what is your most memorable play in college or in the pros? In the pros. Uh, my first interception against um, Tony Eason, uh, New England Patriots. Um, and, uh, you know, I, 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 I kind of lost my mind <laughs> because I got an interception, my first NFL interception. Uh, I, I was running, jumping, and hollering and screaming all over the sideline. So, and then when I watched the film, I'm like, man, jeez, dude, that was <laughs> awful. But my, my first interception against Tony Eason. The most the Patriots, yeah. Um, in your opinion, what makes a great football player? Um, leadership, commitment, uh, trust. And when I say trust, uh, you're out there. Uh, you know, commitment is what you do when nobody is watching. Right. So, you know, you can trust that your players or the, uh, the, or the commitment of your player, when, you, when nobody's around, he's in the weight room. You know, when, uh, you know, nobody has to tell him to be in the weight room. Uh, uh, being able to lead other players. Uh, um, so, um, I think that's what it is. The most important thing is commitment, being totally committed, mm -hmm. buying into what your coach is trying to teach and selling. Uh, so that, that's a big bad. All right, uh, Nicole asks. Aside athletics, uh, do you have any hidden talents? No, I can I can sing a little bit. Oh, I can hold I can hold a tune. You can hold a tune. I can hold a tune. <laughs> that's the difference between singing and holding a tune. I can I can I can hold a tune. Yeah, I've been told that. Yeah. <laughs> you can't sing, but you can hold a tune. I can hold a tune. Um, Mitch asks, "What what is the most bizarre question you have you have ever been asked?" You you asked me a question a couple <laughs> weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> you asked me a couple weeks ago. I was like, "Where you get this question from, man?" I can't remember what it was, but but you know, if you, if we can go back some shows. We can figure it out now. <laughs> I think I know what question you're talking about. <laughs> oh, so that still got me, man. Uh, so. 
Harry asked, uh, if you had a fantasy team, who would be on it? You know what? I don't even know how to do fantasy football. I never, I don't, I don't understand it. So I, I, I don't even know how you pick fantasy. You know, as a, as a player, as a former player, huh? You, you don't get into that. You know what I mean? I don't even know. How, I wouldn't even know how to start playing fantasy football. How do I, just, how do you I don't play fantasy okay. football. I just okay. watch. I, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't know nothing about fantasy football. Yeah, I just I watch. Even, I don't even watch the NFL. I don't watch pro football. I watch college football, but I don't watch pro football at all. So, uh, Roger asks, celebrations after a touchdown are a big thing in the NFL right now. Right. Uh, what What was your reaction if you if a receiver scored on you and celebrated? Did that fire you up? Yeah, <laughs> it did, and uh, it, it pissed me off. But but you know it, you know you have to say it, it's it's all in fun. Uh, if I got an interception, hey, and I, I might I could do the same thing. So you never know. <laughs> but it, it's all in fun. Right. Did it's it, all did part it, of the did game. It, did it make me upset? Yes. <laughs> uh, but it's all part of the game. All right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Justin Robinson, and this is Coach Derek Burrows. Um, don't forget that the ladies volleyball team has a game um, on the 4th against Lamar and Owen in Memphis. Um, so be sure to go check that out. Um, but we're going to see you guys next week for the last episode of the Coach Derek Burrows show.